So Dave, if you don't mind, could you uh, just explain the purpose of this table and, and how it relates to the code? So in, in my mind, this is the most commonly used table in the whole book. If you only use this code book once in a while, you're, you're probably in this table, table 232-1. The title, Vertical Clearances, not horizontal or diagonal, vertical, of wires, conductors, and cables above the ground, a roadway, railroad tracks, water surfaces, your backyard, the farmer's field, a driveway. Man, there's so much in this table here. Very good. All right. So today's focus, we wanted to talk about row five out of table 232-1, and that specifically talks about spaces and ways subject to pedestrians or restricted traffic only. So could you just uh, give us a, a quick overview of that row. And two things I want to focus on is uh, understanding <clears throat> what, how footnotes, uh, you know, what's the purpose of the footnotes in the NESC? And then are the footnotes an actual part of the rule? Or are they just an exception or a, sh or a should versus a shell? Gotcha. All right. So you see on the screen there, uh, just one row out of that big table. I think that table has 10 rows, but today's, uh, uh, presentation just focusing on this one row spaces and ways subject to pedestrians or restricted traffic only uh, you got to see the whole table for all those columns uh, that nine and a half feet communications are neutral the 12 feet uh, secondary uh, skip skip the 12 5 go to the 14 5 that's the primary uh, voltage uh, it, it's for the phase wire the table doesn't call it a phase wire the table calls it a uh, 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 open supply conductors, which sometimes confuses people. Then those last two numbers are for like trolley and electrified railroad. I don't deal with that much. Anyways.